Seahorses are unique in that they have a head like a horse, a long tubular snout like an anteater, prehensile tail like a monkey, a broad pouch like a kangaroo, camouflage skin like a flounder, and eyes that move independently like a chameleon. We study the prehensile tail because it's uh, gripping and grasping ability and it's protected by the natural armor. So the tail is composed of four bony plates that surround a central vertebrae. And uh, what's unique about this is that the bony plates uh, have these sliding mechanisms where they are able to slide in and out of each other as uh, all the segments are connected. It allows the tail to be able to bend and twist. And then also in deformation, the plates can slide past each other like this, which protects the central vertebrae from being compressed. That sliding mechanism is what gives the tail its prehensile capability and also its ability to twist and bend. So the tail can be compressed to half of its thickness without the vertebrae actually fracturing. No one's really looked at the tail and the bones in particular as a source of armor. Most seahorse predators capture their prey by crushing, crabs using claws, fish and turtles using beaks, rays using crushing plates. This helps protect the seahorse from its natural predators.